Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be taking a look at Piper, a computer kit sent over to us that teaches you the fundamentals of computers as well as how to build your very own. It's actually a very good useful tool in the sense that it actually teaches you about Raspberry and a lot of cool things as far as how the screen works and so much more. Now we'll be actually looking at it in detail and actually building one ourselves so it should be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before we open it up. Alright, so the box itself has a strong resemblance to Minecraft in which is actually paired off with it which we'll actually see while we actually program the game itself. Uh, on the back here you'll actually see kind of exactly what it comes with. So again, the whole Minecraft theme with a lot of pixelation, so it looks really neat. So it comes with a screen, Raspberry Pi, battery, speaker, mouse, wood panels, which is interesting, lights, wires, buttons, switches, and buzzards. So everything to assemble our very own Piper. So this should be a lot of fun. Now, one thing I want to show you is look at the screen right over here. And as I actually slide out the kit, you'll actually notice it's animated. So they did a really good job with that as well. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, once we open this up, you'll notice there's actually a top secret message on the top. So this says here that you're about to embark in a serious mission. Earth is in danger and it's about to be hit by an asteroid. And it's our job to save it by creating this control station using the blueprint. And then once you actually go ahead and do all these checkoffs and actually build it, you can see what happens after that. So let's go ahead and take a look what's on here. So as I lift this up, I gotta tell you, there's a lot going on right here. So they got this very nice blueprint. Now the blueprint itself is an explanation of how to build the actual computer. So it's actually a very nice material, almost poster grade I would say. It's got a very thick feeling to it as well. Now over here we have a lot of buttons and a lot of switches and buzzards. So we'll go ahead and put that for right now. Got like a little tiny looking mouse here. So that's really cool. <laughs> and then over here we have some ch chips as well as a speaker. And over here it looks more like the motherboard, so that's really cool. Uh, then we have actually, uh, looks like the uh, power bank to charge the actual laptop. Uh, then we have a lot of wood pieces, I mean a lot of wood pieces, some glass, and here is our cool looking screen. So this should be a lot of fun. Uh, this has a very distinct smell of wood. And uh, I must say it's actually really cool looking and I'm really excited to build this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blueprint and start this thing up. Okay, so this here is our blueprint. So we're just going to go ahead and start from step one and work our way through. The first thing it shows is that this is the Mission Zero blueprint to the actual computer itself. In which we'll show our little inventory. But first we're going to start off with the control box. Alright, so now that we have the control box made, we'll go ahead and create the storage chest. Now that the storage chest is made, we can go ahead and make the Raspberry Pi base. Alright, so lastly we can go ahead and get the screen set up and get our final product of the Piper Blueprint. Alright, so our Piper is finally done and as you can tell it's actually got a very nice finish to it. It looks really professional. It's got a nice glass top with some embossed letters. So I'm really excited to try this out and I actually got my little niece Isma with me here. Hi Isma. Hi. And together we're going to actually go ahead and try this mission out and hopefully it'll work out. You ready? Alright, so let's do this. So when we open it up we actually can see a lot of things going on here. Uh, for one, we do see a Raspberry Pi, which is actually a very, very strong as well as a very useful computer. It's like a mini computer in a small chip. In addition, we have a battery pack as well as a speaker, a mouse, and some buttons over here. So uh, we've got a nice looking setup here. So let's go ahead and try this out. So what we'll do is we'll hit the power button and it should load. Let me go ahead and take my mouse out in the meantime. 
So we can see Raspberry Pi loading up on the screen here. Okay, so our software is now loading up. And let's go ahead and try this out. We're gonna go ahead and go into the story mode first and try this out, it says we're in Mars. So we'll go ahead and hit start. Commander, we have a huge object on a collision course with Earth. We need you to check the status of the incoming object. All right, so looks like it's almost looks like Minecraft. This is really, really cool. Um, there's looks like we actually have to destroy these rusty corners over here. So let me just go ahead and try that out. There you go. Yeah, it's got a very nice, quick response to it, which is really cool. I think that's the end of the first mission. Well done. All right, high five. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we actually have to work on our Raspberry Pi over here and install two red wires. Isma, do you, can you go ahead and give me two red wires, please? All right, thank you. So I got two red wires here, and it looks like I actually have to add it on the fifth and the sixth pin. So we're gonna go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five, and then just go ahead and install that one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go ahead and install this on the sixth one. And we should be good. Now it does say we have to touch the wires together, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we're all set here, it says to go look at the door and open it. Uh, so I think we just go ahead and do one of these. So let's get closer to the door. Insert a red button on the wires you just attached into the controller like you see here. And once it's firmly in place, press the button three times. All right, so let's go ahead and try setting this up where I can actually just move the character by pressing a button. So from what it looks like is I just go ahead and connect these two wires right over here and then set up one of these switch buttons as well. So let me just go ahead and try this out. There we go. So if I press this button now, <laughs> he actually moves forward. All right, so looks like we're going to be building our movement here. Uh, so you can actually kind of see over here that they actually show the actual uh, looks like the Raspberry Pi as well as the buttons over here so really cool how they did that so right now we're doing the red one so uh, it does show that there is a connection to it which is good so I got all three buttons working now uh, so it looks like we just go ahead and follow this path here all right okay sweet that's a very high high jump let's just jump whoa we saw that all right, so it's at the bottom. Look all over the paths at the end at the same place. Uh, oh, we gotta go inside this tunnel here. Hold the forward button to climb the ladder. We gotta climb all the way up. All right, so looks like we're going inside the spaceship now. Oh, look, the spaceship just took off. Star is coming off. Yeah. All right, we landed on the cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> it looks like uh, we need to repair our jumping ability. So let's go to this box here. Where is it? Right click on that. Okay, so we need a yellow button. Yellow. Here. Okay, so the next one's gonna be our yellow button. So can I get two yellow wires too as well? So now we're gonna go ahead and repair our jump button. So the way this one works is very similar. Uh, we skip two on this side here, and then we just go ahead and attach that like so. And then we just go ahead and connect that to our little board over here. All right, so our yellow button is now officially ready and we are jumping. <laughs> so let's go, uh, looks like we're inside the cheese crater. Very interesting. Go outside. Yeah, we're trying to get outside here. So it looks like the red blocks are leading to an exit. So I gotta follow the red blocks. All right, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on this here. 
you need a gold wrench to operate this crafting table. So let's go ahead and find ourselves a golden wrench. All right, so we completed mission number one and it looks like we're on some kind of island. So this here is a mission number two. We're still trying to find that golden wrench. Uh, so looks like we're on, we're trying to find some treasure. Uh, you'll find something useful in the ship, shipwreck. So let's go ahead and look at a ship, shall we? Ah, what's that? Says, if you be seeking a treasure, seek out the biggest tree in the forest, enter the temple, smash the crystal within. Ah, there we go. That looks like a big tree to me. And this is definitely the tree. So, it looks like it might be this entrance right here. Yep, that's the entrance. And there's the crystal. Good job, you find it. Yeah. It says, smash the crystal with a right click and to open the mountain. You will hear, you hear a rumbling in the distance. Uh, if you seek the golden treasure, exit the rough golden path and enter the mountain. So we gotta go find the mountain. So exit the golden path, which is this. And, ah, there is our big mountain and there is a hole in there. So uh, let's go ahead and op click on this. Not sure what that does, but sure. It says build a treasure detector by right clicking on the crystal. Okay, so we have to build a treasure detector. All right, so this here is our treasure detector. So uh, we just made this for this part right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just leave this right here. So the faster it blinks, the closer we are. Try walking around a bit. It's definitely blinking faster. Hmm, I think the treasure's up there. So it must be buried somewhere in the sand. This is very difficult and I can't find the treasure. Oh, X marks the spot. <laughs> that has to be it. There's a treasure. Dig one block below the red X. All right, we've got the golden wrench. We have to figure out a way to reach the crafting table up there. You can activate the closest TNT. Left click the TNT and see what happens. Oh, look at that. They're all exploding. That's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and get that crafting table. All right, so we have a little switch here. All right, so it looks like we have to build something over here. So let's try this out. So I'm actually building that right in front of me at the moment. Okay, and then we can go ahead and connect this between these two. Damn. Okay, so we just do the switch and then we can go ahead and activate this. Alright, well that gives you an idea of what Piper's about. It's actually a great product and teaches you about computers from the ground up. In addition, the whole aspect of the computer, the design, is actually phenomenal. Now the gaming aspect is actually completely different than the actual blueprint of building something. It actually teaches you about computers as well. So it actually tells you how to actually program a button as well as switches, including different wires and how the whole Raspberry Pi thing works. So it's actually a lot of fun. It's very interesting. And I think it's actually a great tool as well as a gift for anyone, to be honest. And it does let you play Minecraft in the end, so that's actually always a plus. Now, if you had any questions about the Piper, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.